Hey, my creators, how you doing today? I've been gone for about a week. Sorry about that. I've been really, really busy, but I've been doing some things behind the scenes, um, you know, coming up with different ideas and things that I think would really, really help you. So one thing that I want to show you how to do is something that one of my subscribers um, asked me if I could do, and that was to do a video on bringing in a picture and how to make it larger because she says when she stretches it, half of her image goes off the page. So I'm gonna show you how to make it a little larger and keep your entire image on the page. So I've started with a five by seven inch design on Canva and I do have the pro version. I'm not sure if it matters for what we're going to do today, if you have pro or free, probably not, but I'm not exactly sure. I haven't tested that out. But anyway, I have a five by seven inch design and I am going to bring in a picture. So let's click on this picture. Now you see, if I take this picture and I stretch it out to make it larger, it's cutting off the image. So I want the image to really fit across um, the whole size of the screen. So I may have to make the screen size a different size, but something near that size so that this picture, when I stretch it, does not cut off the screen, okay? So this is what we're going to do. When you input the picture onto the screen, click on it, and at the bottom right hand corner, you're going to just kind of pull this out. Let me make this a little larger so you can see. You're going to stretch this as far as it'll go. And you'll see in the bottom right hand, there's there are numbers that come up, which are the width and the height of the picture. So let's do this. And right now, this says this is 5.41. So jot that down somewhere, 5.4, I'm sorry, five is the width in inches and 4.1 is the width in height. So let's jot that down, five and 4.1. So now that I know that the size of this picture is a five and 4.1, we kept everything intact. We are going to resize this design, but because we want to make it bigger, we're going to do just that. So we're going to double it in size. So we're going to make it 10 by 8.2. Okay. So we're going to go over to resize. We are going to choose custom size. We're going to make the width 10 and the height is going to be 8.2 because we doubled everything. We're gonna check the box here and we are going to copy and resize because I wanna maintain the original image. So it's copying and resizing now. And it's asking us if we wanna open it and I'm going to open it. When I do, you'll see that the image is definitely larger and it has kept it inside of the um, parameters of the page. So let's move this over to the edge like we did on the other one. So now when we stretch this out, we're gonna grab the corner and it's gonna fit inside of this workspace and it has not cut off any of the image if we pull it back in you see the width and the height on the right hand side and it's 10 by 8.2 or actually 8.3 so it's a little bit bigger but everything fits perfectly so now if you go back to um, your uploads if you click on the image again you'll see the original image is here. You'll see the edge of this image contains this guy and the edge of this image on the left side contains this guy. So we have fitted into 
the space. And we were able to do that because we found out what size this original image was. All right, creators, let's do another one just to make sure that you understand. So I am on another new page and this is a five by seven. And this time I'm going to choose this image, which is a guitar. And you can see it's a rather long image. It's not so much a wide image like this image, right? So this is just to show you that you can use any kind of image and get the best um, outcome that you're desiring. So we are going to click on the photo, the image, and we're going to grab the corner and drag it out, make it larger so you can see. So as we drag this out, you can see the width and the height. So the width and the height of this is 2.8 by 7. 2.8 is the width and 7 inches is the height. So we're going to double this in size and we're going to make sure that it fits on the page. So if it's 2.8 by 7, we're going to make it 5.6 by 14. So let's go up to resize. And I had already created one of these before, so it's up here as a suggested size. So I'm going to click on that 5.6 by 14. And if it was not there, you would have gone to custom size and it would have allowed you to put in the 5.6 by 14. So I'm going to copy and resize the design. So Canva is copying and resizing and it's going to ask me to open the new design. So I'm opening the new design now. All right, so now you see our image is on the new size, which is um, 5.6 by 14. So let us drag this image to the top corner. And now let us pull it down to the end. And there we go. We can even stretch it out a little bit more if we like. We can kind of play with this one a little bit. Okay, so now our image is on the page and we've not cut off anything. If we go to the uploads and we bring in the original image, you'll see that everything is intact. So this was just a very quick tutorial, just showing you how you can um, make your images full size and show completely on your Canvas workspace. So you don't just have to double the image, you can triple the image, you can make it whatever size that you want, as long as it's within the parameters that Canva allows. I'm not sure what the largest image size is. I think maybe 48 by something, 48 by 55 or something like that. So as long as you don't make an image larger than what um, Canva's limits are, you are good to go. So like I said, this was not an exciting design or anything like that, but it is something that is necessary and it's something that um, creators need to know how to do because it is very frustrating if you have an image, for instance, let me click on this image here, you know, and if you want to make this larger and you do this and it cuts it off. That's very frustrating. So this is just a way to show you how you do not have to cut off your images and you can get your full size. All right, guys, as always, do something creative. Make sure that you um, please like, subscribe, and share the video. And don't forget, the more we create, the less we hate. See you in the next video.